HDB takes cash over valuation out of the buying equation and fundamentally changes the resale property market. We deliberate on the rule change, its impact, and how to adapt to it. Next on XTV with your host, Mark Loon. Good day, I'm Mark Loon. It's been over a week since HDB announced changes to its resale buying rules. And homeowners and would-be buyers are still trying to figure out what this rule change means. Today on XTV, we provide you the answers. But first, let's understand the rule change. And for that, we turn to Jeremy Lee, Chief Technology Officer for Singapore Real Estate Exchange. Jeremy, last week the government announced that HDB valuations will be conducted after the option to purchase. This is a huge change, isn't it? It sure is, Mark. Under the old rules, buyers and sellers use the HDB valuation to help determine the transaction price. Now that the valuation takes place after the buyer and the seller agree on the price, the HDB valuation is no longer part of the negotiation process. Okay, before I ask you why the government made these changes, let me put up a graphic to help us understand the technical rule change. So Jeremy, under the old system, a seller would request an HDB valuation first. They would negotiate over how much premium the seller would get. This premium is known as cash over valuation or COV. Once they settle on a purchase price, the seller would grant an OTP or option to purchase. Thereafter, the buyer does all the paperwork to get a loan. And when he has the proof he can get the financing, the buyer exercises the OTP. Under the new rules, HDB will provide sellers and buyers with the latest transacted prices and use those prices to negotiate. After the seller grants the OTP, the buyer obtains a valuation from HDB. The buyer will then seek financing based on that HDB valuation. If he or she is successful in getting a loan, the buyer will then exercise the OTP. The COV was the main focus under the old system, correct? Absolutely. The buyer was hyper-focused on this number. If the buyer couldn't keep the COV under control, the cash out of pocket could be quite painful. Meanwhile, the seller was also hyper-focused on it. He wanted to bid his neighbor's COV and he would hold that over the agent's head. Okay, so now that we understand the old system, let's put up what Minister Ko Bun Huan said in Parliament to explain why the rules have changed. HDB will rationalise the process of price negotiations and restore the original intention of valuation, which is to help buyers get a housing loan. Negotiating based on price rather than COV will take some getting used to. However, it is a useful move for long-term market stability. So Jeremy, what are the concerns coming from the public? The concerns fall into two buckets. The first one is, how do I price my unit under the new rules? The second one is, how do I determine my cash outlay? Okay, let me put up two excerpts from the Straits Times that underscore what Jeremy just mentioned. Chris Cole, property analyst. Everyone will have to do more homework. If they didn't, the valuation could stray far from the price. And when that happens, you might see more buyers abandoning their deals because the down payment is only about $1,000. The potential discrepancy between the discussed price and final valuation has some would-be buyers worried. Mr. Roy Lim, for instance, fears inflated prices for an executive apartment in Pasiris he is eyeing. Before, our basis of discussion would be the valuation, said the 24-year-old who proposed to his girlfriend last month. It kept things from going out of hand. So Jeremy, how will the market address Mr. Lim and Mr. Ko's concerns? The answer is in your question. The market will address their concerns. Specifically, information technology and professional real estate agents can bring clarity to the pricing process and help consumers navigate the buying and selling process of HDB flats. Well, we're in luck. Next up, we have Mr. Sam Baker, CEO of Singapore Real Estate Exchange, to speak to us about how IT can help. Thank you, Jeremy, for coming by and clearing up the air on the new HDB rules. My pleasure. Now, for more on how the market will help consumers price property and manage their financing needs, we turn to Sam Baker. Welcome back, Sam. Thank you for having me, Mark. 
Okay, so how is the market going to help consumers with pricing HDB flats and determining their initial cash outlay? Let's take pricing first. The Singapore Real Estate Exchange has two killer apps that help people price both HDB and private homes. The first one is the X Value Calculator and the second one is Home Report. Let me put the definition of the X Value on the screen. X Value is SRX's estimated market value of a home. It is calculated using a computer generated best practices methodology incorporating comparable market analysis with the most recent relevant transactions. It is not an appraisal. Use X Value as a starting point to determine a home's price. You can find X Value throughout srx.com.sg. For example, on the home page, there's an X Value calculator. It's simple and fast to use, and it works for any private and HDB home. You simply enter your address. Property type, unit number, size, and hit calculate. You can also find X value below the listed price. So Sam, Share with us how your X value is being calculated. Sure, it's calculated by the SRX valuation engine. And this engine is part of a year long private public effort in which we work with government agencies, academics, and selected valuation firms to develop a modern valuation system that incorporates government and SRX data in real time. Valuers use this system to conduct the calculations that go into evaluation, as well as document and store the valuations to be used by banks, lawyers, and other clients. So it's kind of a turbocharged Excel spreadsheet for valuers. Exactly. Only it's better than an Excel spreadsheet because it's customized to the workflow of the valuer, as well as it has the most comprehensive and real-time data that's available in the market. One benefit that came out of this project is the X value. I have to emphasize that the X value is not a substitute for an official appraisal. It's a single computer generated number that consumers and real estate agents can use as a starting point for pricing a home and negotiating. So Sam, a consumer along with his agent would then be able to use X value as a starting point. But that isn't enough, isn't it? Correct, it's not. What we need to also use is our second killer app, which is the Home Report. So let me put that up on the screen and I'll, and I'll talk it through. The Home Report is used by professional agents to advise their clients on the price and marketing of any home in Singapore. It's also used to negotiate the price. The report is available in English and Chinese and customizable to factor in the professional judgment of trained agents. The report itself includes a summary page and tens of pages that document the calculations that are found on the summary page. The report facilitates market analysis, trend analysis, and investment analysis at the national, district, neighborhood, and unit level. The specific units used in the comparables are masked to allow for the analysis without revealing the specific unit numbers. So Sam, how does a professional agent use Home Report with X Value? X Value is the financial calculation generated by the computer. That's the science part of pricing. But there's also the part that requires human judgment. That's where the Home Report comes into play. So the agent takes the X Value as a starting point, adjusts the pricing using information from the Home Report, and then uses that knowledge to negotiate the right home at the right price. So now that we found the right home at the right price, how do we then determine the cash outlay? It's quite simple actually. You assume that the X valuation is a close approximation of the HDB valuation. 
For example, say you are representing a buyer who has his eyes on a four room HDB. You take him to the X calculator on srx.com.sg. The calculator computes an X value of $487,000. Your client then asks you what comparables the calculator used to determine that X value. You whip out your agent connect, which as the name suggests, is available only to agents. You then show your client the most recent relevant transactions that went into the X value. Next, you pull out your home report, like the one I shown you earlier, and you narrow the price range to an offer price that reflects the current market, your client's budget, and the qualities of the flat. Let's say that you think the home is worth $495,000 because it's in great condition with a state-of-the-art kitchen and other amenities. To determine your cash outlay, merely plug and chug into the equation on the screen. Cash outlay equals offer price minus estimated valuation. Or 495K minus 487K equals 8K. So $8,000 is the out-of-pocket cost or the cash outlay. And this is assuming your CPF equals your down payment and does not take into account stamp duties, legal fees, and other expenses. Correct, Mark. Spoken like a good lawyer. But what if the estimated valuation does not equal to the HDB valuation right. and the deal falls through? Wouldn't that mean the buyer would stand to lose up to $1,000 in deposit? Yes, that's quite possible, but that's a risk that a buyer would assume even if he didn't use the X value. By the very process of playing the valuation after the OTP, HTB rules are imposing this risk on the buyer. X value will certainly reduce that risk of the buyer overextending himself, but if that's not enough for him, he can reduce his risk further by negotiating a lower deposit. The argument would be quite simple. The new HDB rules results in less certainty about the final valuation and that uncertainty should be shared by both the buyer and the seller in the form of a smaller deposit. Well, thanks for clearing up all the uncertainties, Sam. My pleasure. In summary, X value and home report should alleviate the public's concerns about pricing and cash outlay under the new HDB rules. And that concludes today's show. One programming note. This week, we had originally planned to air our program on how technology is changing property search. We have rescheduled that show for Monday, 31st of March. Please join us then. Thank you for watching XTV. Have a good day, and we'll see you again next week.